everyone's favorite holiday destination, Goa, recently transformed into everyone's favorite holiday and fashion destination. Welcome back to Gioni Presents India Beach Fashion Week 2015. Here's a quick look at how the first edition of this beach and resort wear fashion gala started with a bang. Inaugurating the three-day long Gioni India Beach Fashion Week 2015 were Mr. Michael Lobo and Mr. Francis D'Souza with the organizers Pallav Oja and Amin Manji. The grand opening show of Anupama Dayal. artistic designers from Talent House Designer Harsha Garbal and designer Vidhi Vadwani saw the latest fashion trends like never before. The opening day saw close to 10 ramp shows with designers showcasing their resort wear collection. Meanwhile, we spot some trends off the ramp too. As the models get ready for the Asmita Marwa show, we bring to you a sneak peek at what's happening backstage and get talking to the makeup artist. It's great to be a part uh, for IPFW. It's uh, completely upmarket and trending uh, fashion week which they've discovered on completely new tracks. and. It looks positive that uh, it's definitely going to grow. We're trying to create all the inspiration, trendy and futuristic styles, uh, whatever is possible for us. In the given speed of time, we're doing about six, seven shows a day with 32 models on a constant change. And this has been like a roller coaster of hair and makeup. to rest and fuses traditional and global aesthetics through her innovative techniques, yours presenting Asmita Marwa's Bella Arma creation. This collection of mine was uh, inspired by Goa and um, Goa is very very close to my heart. It's like I, I feel like I'm half Goan. <laughs> My soul is going and uh, it's called uh, Bella Alma in Portuguese means beautiful soul. So it was to capture, you know, the essence of Goa basically. I had to do a collection which was like completely resort, yet glamorous and it had different elements. I work a lot with textures, but creating textures with fabric, it's not uh, overtly embellished with embroidery or anything, it's just basically my clothes have a very simple, classic kind of a cut yet it has a kind of a bohemian edge to it. I think it's a very wearable collection.
also launching their new collection of Geo watches at the Asmita Marwa show with directors of Brandstorm Neha and Ujwal Saraf. It was great to launch our collection and it was greatly received by everybody uh, especially the rose gold collection that we made uh, we've obviously tried to make it more lustful and it's uh, instead of love at first sight it's like lust at first sight so that's what we aim at for the men's collection um, honestly we've uh, we're very proud to say that we've done something really cool and quirky and different and uh, we've tried to put the sexy element here by introducing colors like gunmetal blue rose gold um copper so these are all the new things that you're going to see this year keeping the resort collection in mind notanki by nilesh parashar is a collection that blends in traditional craftsmanship and rich textiles with digital and screen printing technology what we are showcasing here is like you know it's a spray uh, perfume not acid which is we are talking about abusement and like you know at the women's attack like you know which is happening all around all around india so we are trying to like you know and still like you know the women like you know is so powerful so strongly like you know coming out like 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 a rose from the ashes of like you know phoenix so that's what we have tried to symbolize like you know we have used a lot of perfume bottle print and uh, hot air balloon which is symbolizing like you know in this thing in, in our collection which is which is more about today's woman who is modern who is who is uh, fearless who is like you know i think that's it Kalahari and Nambi deserts of Africa as his inspiration. Najiket Barre's collection is influenced by the cultures, traditions, and motifs of the people of the deserts. The collection is called Kalahari, so it's inspired by the Kalahari and the Namib deserts and all the tribes of Africa. So the Tuareg tribe, the tribes from Congo, the Bushmen. So all of those motifs you see in the embroideries. You see the silver jewelry reinterpreted again as beading. There is also the colors of the sun, which is the red orange, the sky, which is the blues, and the sand, which is the beige and the brown, as a part of the palette. And it's really a collection which is an ode to Africa and the culture which is most primitive because that's where humankind is said to have originated. So that was a, that is the point that I was really inspired by. So this dress here is actually inspired by the fossils which you see also in the desert, you know, rocks and sand. So it's all the ammonite fossils and a whole lot of sort of spiral fossils that have been done. This cave for instance has about 3 and 1/2 thousand hours of embroidery and handwork. So it's really intense. There's about 12 embroidery techniques in that, but it's still a piece which you can wear from a red carpet in Cannes to you know wherever in the world that you want. So it's really Indian techniques like zardozi, like zardozi, or you know uh, research from museums which have been reinterpreted in a global format, which I think is the future of design. And her dress here is again you can see the kuba and the shua African textile motifs, but they've been done in beading with wood beads, glass beads, you know bugle beads. There's resham embroidery. and it's a dress which can you know easily sit on a catwalk in milan or paris and be worn to the most glamorous party yet it's still made in india and inspired by the world that's how i see my label There's a lot that made James Ferreira's collection stand out. Well, it was easy clothes, perfect for resort, very 
uncrushable, easy to pack, very easy to slip on and slip off. Barking like a big dog. Barking like a big dog. I think my clothes are made for tropical climates and for the Indian body. I, my clothes, if you notice, do not really cling to the body, but they accentuate certain parts, parts of the body, which is very good when you're when you're a pear-shaped Indian woman. Coming up. 